Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem forty-seven in chapter twenty-two. Chapter twenty-two is about Gaussian's law. We can see we have flat slab. So keyword non-conducting. So non-conducting tell us the charge is uniformly distributed in this object, right? And thickness is two d. Now we need to determine the electric field dense. Uh, in In different locations, another quantity given is the charge density. We can see at the positive side, if the x is larger than zero, smaller than d, the charge density is zero, zero not. If the x is from zero to negative d, the charge density is a negative charge, negative zero not, right? So first part, we need to determine the electric field field dense outside of this object outside. There and there, therefore we can draw the Gaussian surface, right? Draw a Gaussian surface with the cross-sectional areas A. So this is A. This is another A. And then we can see, in this case, we write down the Gaussian rules. We can see electric field is times Gaussian surface. A and A, so two A equals enclosed charge divided by epsilon naught, right? Yes, because the electric field is just perpendicular outside to these slabs, so the Gaussian surface is just two A, right? And then we look at the enclosed charge. So this part is zero naught times A times D, so zero naught. A times D is this one, this term, and another term we can say is a negative rho naught times A times D. This part, right? So the total enclosed charge is zero. This is a positive charge, negative charge. So come set the total charge is zero. It's, therefore, we get the electric field dense outside of this object is zero. Okay. The second part ask ask the electric charge just、uh, from the x to positive x positive d. So location is there, right? So in this case, we can draw the Gaussian surface look like this one because we know the outside electric field is zero. So that means the electric field is for this region just、uh, from this side. This is a. Agree. So if we draw it, we can see the Gaussian surface times the electric field dense. So E times A. This part we don't have electric field dense because it tell us this E equal to zero. So E times A equals enclosed charge divided by epsilon naught. Now we look at the enclosed charge. It should be the region for this region. Agree. This region. So use cross sectional areas times the distance. This part. See the time the distance this part is d minus x, so we get it here. In this case, we input enclosed charge inside. We can see a a cancelled. We get answer here. The next part we need to determine the x is a、uh, larger than negative d, smaller than x. So there we must pay attention. This x is negative. Agree? Negative. Then we can see we still draw Gaussian surface look like this one. We can see the electric field is times Gaussian surface. As we know the outside electric field is zero, so Gaussian surface we just count this part, right? So E times A equals enclosed charge divided by epsilon naught, right? Yes. Now enclosed charge we can see charge density is given, so we need to find the volumes. So it is this part. The cross-sectional area is a, so the distance for this part, how much? As we know, the x is negative, right? So the distance for this part, because distance must be positive, so it's negative x, negative x. So we write it there, negative x. Now the distance for this part is d minus negative x, d minus negative x. 
becomes d plus x, right? Now we input the enclosed charge inside. We get the answer there. Thank you.